Hey guys, welcome back to extrudesign.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about limit system and uh, important terms used in limit system. Let us start. In mechanical engineering, system of limits or limit system is a concept of controlling the sizes of machine elements while manufacturing of each component. Because taking exact dimensions is an ideal condition. But in practical methods, it is not possible. So practical methods such as while manufacturing the components and measuring the components. This is not possible. So the limit system enables us how much amount of deviation is acceptable. But how do we apply the limit system in design of machine elements? When one part is mating with another one, first of all, the fit between the two parts must be determined. To determine the fit, we must take one component as the constant member and the second component will have the deviations according to the type of fit that we have chosen. By making a constant member, we can classify them as whole basis system and shaft basis system. These are the two bases of limit system. In whole basis system, whole values are constant and the deviations will be considered in shaft dimensions. But in shaft basis system, the shaft dimensions are constant and the deviations will be considered in whole dimensions. We have discussed more details on this whole basis system and shaft basis system in the another video. We have mentioned the link in the description. Please check that out. Following are the important terms that we generally use in limit system. First one is nominal size, basic size, actual size, limits of sizes, tolerance, allowance, tolerance zone, zero line, upper deviation, lower deviation, actual deviation, mean deviation and fundamental deviation. These are the terms that we use in limit system. We need to understand the following schematic diagram which helps us understand these definitions in more clever manner. This is the hole and whereas this is the shaft. And we have deviations in the each component. These deviations are called tolerance. And for shaft there will be lower limit and upper limit for the shaft diameter. Similarly, we will have lower limit and upper limit for the hole as well. Let us discuss these important terms used in this limit system in detail. The first one is nominal size. The exact size of the component which is mentioned on the drawing for the ideal condition. Uh, these nominal sizes will be mentioned for the convenience purpose only. For example, a 30 mm shaft here 30 mm is the nominal size where we use 30 mm hole for this shaft but further we apply limit system according with the type of fit and the second one is basic size this basic size and nominal size more often are same this basic size is the dimensions where we apply tolerances example 30.000 plus or minus 0.015 where 30 mm is the basic size and 0.015 are the limits and the next one is actual size this is the actual dimension of the part taken by measuring instrument this actual dimension should not exceed the tolerance limit mentioned to the basic size for example, the size of shaft is measured with the veneer calipers is 30.010. This is actual dimension of the shaft. And the next one is limits of sizes. The extreme possible deviation is called limits of size. There, there are two extreme possible limits of sizes. They are maximum limit, minimum limit. For example, a shaft is dimensioned as 30.000 plus or minus 
zero one five. Then thirty point zero one five is the maximum limit, and twenty nine point nine eight five is the minimum limit. And the allowance, the difference between the basic size of the hole and the shaft is known as the allowance. It is positive when the shaft is smaller than the hole size. It is negative when the shaft is larger than the hole size. For example, hole dimensions are mentioned as twenty nine point nine nine zero slash twenty nine point nine eight zero, whereas shaft dimensions are thirty point zero 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 slash twenty nine point nine seven zero, where the allowance can be calculated from the lower limit of hole and the upper limit of shaft, which is Twenty nine point nine eight zero minus thirty point zero zero zero, which will give us minus zero point zero two zero. The negative sign implies that there is an interference of material occurred. The next one is tolerance. The difference between the upper limit and lower limit of the hole or shaft is known as tolerance. We can also say that maximum permissible deviation with basic size is known as tolerance. Tolerance can be unilateral or bilateral. In unilateral system, the tolerance will be added either on positive side or negative side. But in bilateral system, the tolerance will be added both on positive side and negative side. The next one is tolerance zone. The zone between the upper limit and the lower limit is known as tolerance zone. Here you can see that the tolerance zone. This is the tolerance zone for shaft, and this is the tolerance zone for hole. Zero line. Zero line is the imaginary straight line corresponding to the basic size of shaft or hole, which is used to measure the deviations. Here you can see that the zero line. This is the zero line. upper deviation the difference between the basic size and the maximum size is known as upper deviation and lower deviation the difference between the basic size and the minimum size is known as lower deviation actual deviation the difference between the basic size and the actual size of the part after its manufacture is known as actual deviation For example, a shaft is notation with thirty point zero 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 plus or minus zero point zero one five, where the vernier caliper measurement of the shaft after it is manufactured is thirty point zero one zero. Then the actual deviation will be basic size minus component actual size, which is thirty point zero 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 minus thirty point zero one zero, which is the actual deviation is zero point zero one zero. mean deviation mean deviation is nothing but the average of upper deviation and lower deviation called mean deviation the last one is fundamental deviation fundamental deviation is the form of allowance in shafts it is said to be the upper deviation in holes it is said to be the lower deviation for example hole of 29.990/29.980 slash and shaft of 30.000/29.970 the allowance will be 29.980 minus 30.000 equal to minus 0.020 where the interference of material is occurred the fundamental deviation of the hole will be 0.020 fundamental deviation of shaft will be 0 This is all about limit system and important terms used in limit system. Let us know what do you think about this in the comment section below. Please subscribe to our channel and the press the bell icon so that you will get notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching.